Okay, we're going to start with Genesis 1. We're at the very beginning. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to Revelation. What's the last verse in Revelation? I don't know. But we'll get there. I, don't, I have no idea how long it's going to take. Bear with me. I'm not the best reader. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. All right? Dow go. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So God was there, obviously. Maybe, I don't know if I, I don't know how I want to do this. Do I just, like, read a couple verses and then talk? Or go through everything and then talk? Because, you know, if, if, if I'm speaking or reading in paragraphs, I'm going to forget what points to make in the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Maybe I should just read a little bit, and if I have something to say, I'll say it. I'm going to start over. I'm sorry. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And also, <laughs> sorry, I understand that there are so many different translations of this book, and every word has like seven different meanings from the original language. So there are things I'm not going to pick up on. Um, you know, just watching people like Jack Hibbs who really understands the meat and potatoes of each verse and really what it means in every aspect, I'm not going to pick up on. That's why I want to, you know, get in the comment section with you guys and talk about things and maybe get some new perspective. Uh, but, you know, I also think it's very important to be careful what you let in when you're reading this book you can lead people astray or in the wrong direction and i don't want to do that so i think i'm just gonna most like most mostly i'm just gonna read it you know and then just make comments on how i feel about it personally my belief is that you know jesus is god in the flesh who came and lived a perfect life and died for our sins and that's grace and through faith and obedience we can be saved because you know I, I do think a lot of Christians think that all you have to do is have faith and you're gonna go to heaven you can sin as much as you want or whatever I don't I don't believe that I do not far after John 3 16 I think it's John 3 36 it talks about um, obedience and if you know the gospel you should have obedience that's second Peter um, it's come, getting away from me now, but it, it says in Second Peter somewhere in there, um, if it, it, it is better to not even know the gospel than to know it and not have obedience with it and actually like follow God's law. So I think that obedience is just as important as faith. That you can't have faith without obedience because if you have faith and you understand the gospel and you know that Jesus died for your sins then obedience comes with that. I don't think you're a true Christian if you don't have obedience to some degree and repentance with that. Anyway, let me read this. Sorry. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So in the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth, so he made earth and space, the universe. The earth was without form, meaning it had no matter, maybe, and void. It just wasn't in existence, void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. So I wonder what that means. And darkness was on the face of the deep. You know, maybe he hadn't created the sun yet, or darkness is the absence of light, meaning absence of good, absence of God, perhaps. I digress. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Boom. Then God said, Let there be firmament. Firmament, 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 in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. So, is that is that talking about the firmament, meaning there's water above us too, 
or I don't know what that what that mean. What does that mean to you guys in the comment section? Because yeah, thus God made the firmament and divided the waters. Wait, divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. God called the firmament heaven. And so evening and morning were the second day. So God created the firmament with waters below it and above it. Above it was the heavens. Um, now I wonder if, meaning above it, because at my church, I go to Passion City, there is an astronaut that goes to my church. And he's talked to us from space before, things like that. So I don't, I'm not like a flat earther, you know, I don't. Um, I don't know if NASA's lying to us. I'm not like a huge conspiracy person, but I do tend to get down that rabbit hole sometimes. So there's, I've heard arguments about flat earth that has really had me scratching my head, you know, um, but I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think the earth is flat. I just, I wonder if the heavens are just further up, you know, further out, further away, maybe in a different, I don't know different universe or something. I don't know how that works. I'm not God. He has his ways. Um, but this, when, if you read this at face value, um, it says, and I'm going to try not to say um so much. I'm so sorry. By the waters which were under the firmament, firmament and the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so, and God called the firmament heaven. I'll let you guys hash that out in the comments and maybe I can get involved. Then God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seed, and... Oh, and the fruit trees that yields the fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. Wait, 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 wait. Fruit trees that yield fruit according to its kind. Okay, we got that. Whose seed is in itself. What does that mean? Whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so. Whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it was so. So, I don't know what that means, but, you know, the Bible interprets itself, so maybe if we keep reading, we will understand that better. And the earth brought forth grass, the herb that yields seeds according to its kind, of course, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. Okay, so I guess that just means that, like, if there's a fruit seed that's a strawberry, it's going to be a strawberry. If there's a fruit seed that's an apple, it's going to be an apple. An orange is an orange. Maybe that's what that means. Um, and God saw that it was good. And so the evening and the morning were the third day. We're getting into the seven days here. No, no. Then God said, let there be lights in the firmament, oops, stars and stuff, of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let, their, let them be signs and seasons. So we know that the stars are for signs and seasons. So that's what this is talking about. Um, which is really funny because everything that God has, the devil uses for his own benefit, which is for evil. Um, and the, si the stars do tell stories. The stars do tell prophecy. The devil finds a way to twist it. You guys can talk about that in the comment section if you want to as well. Then God said, let there be lights in the firmament and the heavens to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and seasons, for days and years, of course. And let there... And, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Then God made two great lights. Was that the sun and the moon? The great, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Okay, got it? Then God said, let the waters abound with abundance. 
of the living of living creatures. So he made the fish. Um, and let the birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created the great sea creatures and everything living. And wait, and every living thing that moves. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll get better at reading. <laughs> I'm sorry. With which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. So God made all different types of birds, fish, animals, etc. Well, birds. I guess that's what we're talking about right now. And God saw that it was good, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. So I guess this next verse is the sixth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to its kind, cattle and creepy thing, <laughs> and creepy cattle and creepy thing, and beast of the earth. Each according to its kind, and it was so. And God, okay, why? I just want to know why did they have to make the creepy thing? We all know what, what you guys, the eight-legged freaks, is what I'm talking about. Okay. I I'm not a fan of spiders. I don't like them. <laughs> okay, here we go. God made the beast according to its kind. Cattle. Wait, did I skip something? I'm sorry. Beast, uh, creepy thing, and beasts of the earth. Each according to its kind, and it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to its kind. Cattle, according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth, getting chills, according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Well, I guess it's good. But, I'm sorry. God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. So God created man in his image. Let them have dominion over the fish in the sea. So we are, we take precedent over the animals on the earth. According to God. Um, so let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all of the earth, over every creepy thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female. Boom. There is no other gender. Male and female. That's it. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth. And every tree whose fruit yields seed to you, it shall be for food also. Every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life. I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. So God basically provided everything for mankind that was created in his image. Then God saw everything that he had made and indeed it was very good so the evening and the morning were the sixth day on the seventh day he rested i think i might stop right there guys i think that's a good stopping point i am happy with that so basically this is just about god's creation creating the earth the heavens the fish the birds the animals the cattle and of course us um it took god six days to create everything and then he rested on the seventh if you guys would like to discuss and talk about things let me know in the comment section if i'm boring please tell me please correct me please like hey stop saying um or it bugs me when you do this or maybe you could switch it up and try this a little bit no I'll, I'll take your criticism at face value and um maybe i can make some adjustments i'll get better as i go maybe by the time i'm in like psalms or something i'll be great i hope it doesn't take me all the way to like to all the way to like john to be better at this all right day one done see you guys drop a sub drop a comment drop a like and stuff all right all right i'll see you bye